in my previous video i talked about how to create a new document in photoshop and in this video i'm about to tell you how you can set up your interface ready for projects any kind of project flyers um, any kind of project yeah and also tell you how you're going to import images into photoshop to work on them okay so we will start from the right side of the interface over here we have color swatches gradients patterns properties adjustments libraries and the rest so first of all we are going to remove this whole tab this color swatch pattern tab it doesn't mean we don't like it's not necessary but it's necessary but as beginners we don't need it now so we right click on it and click on close tab yes then you, you come down here and you put the cursor on top of this uh, you put it in between these layers channels parts uh, panel uh, in between the properties adjustment libraries like this this line put it on that black line in between these properties and the layers panel and make sure that you see that arrow with up and down or activated and you pull it up pull it up to somewhere like here yeah because we want to let our layers panel show very well because uh, anytime we import images we draw shade or we do any other thing it will show over here so we want this place to be um, relatively visible because the properties panel we are going to use it but that one we can just scroll and do whatever that we want to do and then we go for this place we are done with this place this place is okay for us to start projects let's come up here over here some of us our auto select may be checked you uncheck it and then here too uh, it may be checked so you uncheck that one you check these two that they are all unchecked yes and then basically that's it for this um, interface and it's okay the interface is okay now that we are done with whatever that we want to do on this interface you have to save it so that when we open photoshop again do not worry about creating a new interface for our project therefore you go to window workspace and then all the way to new workspace and then we name this our workspace so me i'll call it um new workspace one okay then you click on save okay so now that you have saved your new workspace you don't have to create another one or you don't have to ch do any changes when you come into photoshop again yeah, so you are done with your new workspace and then you can use it for any project that you want to do so basically sometimes when you are uh, designing or the place will be messed up like this this panel may be here properties panel may be here and then even these two may be here so like you, the place will be scattered when you come and see something like this don't be afraid very simple just come to the window and then workspace and then reset new workspace one that's the new workspace one the workspace that you created click on reset new workspace and then everything is intact for you once again as you did it before yeah so basically that is how the workspace work and this is the best workspace for you as a beginner and then lastly i'm going to show you how you can import photos into photoshop and that one is also a very simple one to do so you go to file then all the way to place embedded and then select the particular picture or file that you want to import in photoshop so let's say this one double click on it or you click on copy and then it will it will be imported into photoshop and once here you click on the check mark and then let's see yeah, so as you can see you have imported this image into photoshop and then you can work it so that's it for this video and if you are new here consider subscribing to this channel over here we make videos about photoshop illustrator and design after effects and graphic design in general so if you are into graphic designing subscribing to this channel will be of great help for you and also comment on this video let me know your thoughts about this video and then share this video to your friends and families to also enjoy please don't forget to leave a like under this video see you again in my next video peace